Uh, we are also monitoring the Game Hog Creek fire. That's in the Tillamook State Forest. Let's go now to our Jacqueline Abad joining us live from Forest Grove. And Jack, what's the latest update from there? Dan Elizabeth, well, the Game Hog Creek fire is between 70 to 100 acres. It's burning on a steep slope above Highway 6 um, in the Tillamook State Forest. And thankfully, uh, fire crews were able to prevent it from going significantly overnight. Now, take a look at this video. We saw Simpson Lumber as well as ODF crews pulling water from a nearby creek. Crews are continuing to work on building fire lines. This fire has been burning since July 3rd and flared up Tuesday night, growing from 6 to about 70 acres. Yesterday, the winds pushed the fire towards the lines, but they used a helicopter to drop water to prevent the fire from moving. Local ODF districts from Tillamook, Forest Grove, and Astoria are fighting this fire, but with multiple fires burning across our region, resources are stretched. Resources are very tight. It's very hard to have enough resources for large fires, and the large fires have a big pull. We've sent some of our best fire managers over to the Bootleg Fire and to the Grandview Fire, retaining some here to manage the home front. And now we have a fire like this, everybody pulls together. The Office of the uh, Oregon Fire Marshal says that 20 Oregon task forces are working on the bootleg fire. There are also crews from Washington and California assisting with that firefight as well. They say the goal of the system is to surge resources when necessary and still have plenty in the tank to support local home units. Now, as far as the game Hog Creek fire goes, there's also adults in custody from South Fork who are also assisting as well. And if you are driving near the Tillamook State Forest, just be aware that roads, the forest roads, Drift Creek and Idiot Creek Road are closed. But, you know, we were in the area earlier today and we didn't see significant smoke. So if you are driving the area, just be aware of those road closures. Reporting live in Forest Grove, Jacqueline Abad, Queen 6 News.